What would you do if you had a time machine? Hi, I'm Dr. Zaner with 5 Minute Fuel, which is in 5 minutes a day. We're going to fuel your mind, your body, and your future because it's a time machine episode. All right, so check this out. When it comes to a time machine, it's what I call the time machine exercise. And right now, every single one of you, you're debating or you're trying to make a decision or even a risk in your life and you just don't know because there's unknowns and there's certainties in the future. So right now it might be, you know, you're gonna invest money in yourself when you don't have it to develop your skills, but you're worried, well, what happened? What, what if it doesn't work? Or you're about to, maybe you're, you're ready to do a new career or the season has changed. Maybe for some of you, you're ready to make that commitment and take your relationship to a higher level, a higher level. Or maybe you say, listen, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to start taking care of my health, but, but what, what if it doesn't, what if I don't stick to it? All these fears of the future, all these unknowns and uncertainties of the future. So when this happens, this is when the time machine exercise works and it works both ways. So it works like this. You know all the fears and the fogs that you have and the, and the unknowns and the uncertainty that are holding you back, that'll keep you, that are keeping you comfortable? Well, how about this? Just think of all the unknowns and the fears you had to go through, the uncertainties that got you to where you are right now. So I'm 40, so the time machine would be like this. If I was to go back and meet my 20-year-old self, what would I tell my 20-year-old self? What would you tell your 20-year-old self or 10-year-old self? You know, just go back in time. When I see my 20-year-old self, I think what I would do is I would put my hand on the shoulder and say, listen, thank you for being faithful, determined. Thank you for not quitting. But remember, everything you're about to go through, there's a huge piece of benefit in everything you go through, even though you might not see it in the micro. You know, you know, you might be, you're about to go through things that in the micro are going to feel like the world's against you. In the micro, you're going to feel like God's punishing you, all these things. But understand that in the macro, you're going to look back and it's going to actually make you and lead you to who you are and helping thousands and thousands of people. Right? So when you look at, because, you know, that my 20 year old self didn't know, you know, I didn't want to have a terminal illness, uncurable illness that I had to beat and go through all this kind of hell. So in the moment it sucked, but looking back, it changed my life. It allowed me to give me, you know, a focus, a skill and a desire and an experience to be able to help more people. So everything, every setback or every quote unquote failure has an equal degree of benefit in your life, but in the micro, it doesn't seem that way. So now I'm 40 and I'm moving forward, right? So just like when I was 20, there's unknowns. Just like you, there's uncertainties, there's fears, there's fogs. I don't know what's gonna bring. I'm in a new season of my life. What's gonna happen? So now, what, what would my 60 year old self tell me? My 60 year old self would probably come back, put his hand on my shoulder and say, listen, thank you for being faithful, focused, determined, having a desire, and understand that everything you're going to move through, the fears, the insecurities, the uncertainty, and the unknowns, that's all going to bring you to a place that you never dreamed possible. Same thing in your life. You know, whatever you're going through right now, understand if your future self could come back, just like if you were to go talk to yourself in the past, you're going to realize that everything happened for a reason. Everything was beneficial. And then it takes that sting of the uncertainty, the unknown, the, the risks, the fears, and the fogs, knowing that, I get to go through that again, knowing that life will bring me things and will develop me. And because we can't hit a next level in our life at our same level of, of skill and focus, those situations create us, it molds us, it, it pulls out the impurities to bring us to another level to be able to reach a life we never dreamed possible. But it's not going to happen if you don't take the first step forward. And going with certainty that whatever you go through, no matter what, will give you an equal or greater benefit at the end. Hopefully that brought you amazing insight today. Please comment below on maybe fears or fogs that are preventing you from moving forward. What would your future self tell you? What would you tell your, your past self? Write that down. Please follow us on social, on all the social channels, especially YouTube and Facebook. Go to IamHero.com so you can be connected with us with all the amazing, cool stuff I have for you guys. Have a great day and we'll see you soon with 5 Minute Fuel, which is in 5 minutes a day with food, your mind, your body, and your future. Oh,